let's start with your essay. Language plays a vital role while communi communicating to each other, especially when you visit any foreign country. Country the spelling check karo, please. Where language is new to travelers. Travelers is Okay. This essay will support the idea that teaching that teaching a foreign language at primary school is more beneficial over uh, you can use overwhelmingly beneficial over teaching it at secondary school in the following paragraph i will uh, provide some arguments to support my opinion all right let's see what you have written there are a number of reasons why learning a foreign language at uh, why don't you use a linker here? Uh, linker beginning to up a use card then, Misha. Use uh, also. Uh, you can use for a beginning for a start, right? There are a number of things I have sent you. Yes. yes. There are a number of reasons why learning a foreign language at primary school is better than learning it at secondary school. Look, same things I have already told question de which already likhya hoya or to say it ke bhi he already the dust rupiah support that idea that teaching foreign language at primary school is more beneficial over teaching at secondary school okay it the same line likh rahe so content repeat na karo please Jee, to begin with a hi begin with to see it likh lende na to begin with there is not doubt. There is no doubt. Okay? No, 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 doubt. Doubt. no doubt that a young mind observes new information very quickly as the mind of child is very active at this small age. Uh, okay, children at... Okay, fair full stop. So, bad koi linker ni use kita. Koi ta linker use karo. To be more precise, in other words, two linkers, I have focused on a lot of stress. So, see, at least two linkers are used. Class, which are not good. Yeah, to be more precise. Children at okay. young age learn anything new within days as their retention power. Uh, retention, they will please spelling check. Karo. Power is very strong okay. as compared to the child who is there, uh, there Adult. in their adulthood stage. Okay, Tika. Ek point data, BP1, there is point number two. Retention is BP1 and BP2 are advantage. show okay. that the advantage is Okay, okay, okay. Moreover, okay, BP1, BP2, BP2. Uh, structure is going to be advantages. Then, the paragraph is advantages. Okay, no problem. So, see, you okay. start okay. I know to see up the upper hand, dikhaya, but that's fine. That Moreover, don't use moreover, use alongside and yeah, besides this. Children often found learning new uh, skills attractive in their childhood. 
because of their curiosity to learn new things daily okay in addition to this kundu se the third point explain kar rahe ho in addition to this likh ke बेनिफिशियल <laughs> माइंड Uh, for their future, to nourish, actually, to nourish young mind, uh, for their future, which will help them in their future to save them extra time. Okay, for for any more use, ne karo for it. Thevi use kitta for it. Thevi use kitta, which will uh, benefit to nourish their young minds, minds, children. Likhre ho na, child ni na likhre, plural ha, minds, for their future. uh yeah for which would help in their future uh because har jagah because if you use kitta to say itthe hun dobara na use karo please uh you can use owing to due to due to which they learn new things new skills skills in the form of foreign language On the other hand, these are few. Uh, there are negative. There are there are few negative effects of adding a foreign language at primary school. Okay, what are those? Let's see. Adding on additional subjects may create a stress. A stress then will may uh create stress on children. mind children mind me and with children apostrophe s children's mind as every school now it is give so much to work give a uh, so much to work to jagah pe likh sakte ho to see heavy homework heavy homework to young minds okay. owing to this okay ओके तो सी ओइंग टू दिस जगह से तो इस मतलब इतने रिजल्ट आ रहे हैं ना कॉन्सिक्वेंटली रिजल्टेंटली जो तुसी यूज कर दे आगे भी है ना ओ ओ लिखो कॉन्सिक्वेंटली चिल्ड्रन फील प्रेशर ऑन देयर माइंड ऑन देयर डेली रूटीन तुसी रूटीन बारे भी लिख सकते हो ना ऑन देयर डेली रूटीन एंड दे डोंट हैव मच टाइम टू गो आउट एंड प्ले विद देयर फ्रेंड्स इस तरीके ना क्योंकि आप बार बार वही चीज लिख रहे हैं यंग माइंड्स यंग माइंड माइंड द प्रेशर माइंड द प्रेशर तो बस इन वो लैबोरेट करने ही थोड़ा ये भी लिख सकते हैं कि फिजिकल एक्टिविटी काट हो गया व्हिच इज अ अलार्मिंग सिचुएशन इन द एजुकेशन सिस्टम एंड टू टॉलरेट मोर एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट्स सच एज न्यू लैंग्वेज स्किल माइट फील अनजस्टिफाइड अनजस्टिफाइएबल टू चाइल्डहुड टू द स्टूडेंट्स हर एक जगह पे चाइल्डहुड चाइल्ड चिल्ड्रन ठीक है इन्हें यूज करो स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सिनोनिम्स एज मच एज यू कैन 
ठीक है सिनेमियम्स आर लाइफ सेवर सीरियसली ठीक है एज मच एज सिनेमियम्स ओके अनजस्टिफाइएबल टू स्टूडेंट्स टू सम अप इट इज वेरी uh essential okay, for children to uh it is very essential yeah it is significant okay words to okay. some dasi si o words use karo use currently dasi si to begin learning a foreign language in their early ages as their mind is active in the childhood okay apna structure siga to say the stress ਉਹ ਕੀਤਾ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਡਿਸਐਡਵਾਂਟੇਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਰਿਫਿਊਟ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਲਰਾਈਟ ਐਡਵਾਂਟੇਜ ਡਿਸਐਡਵਾਂਟੇਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਰਿਫਿਊਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਚੈੱਕ ਦ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਡਿਸਐਡਵਾਂਟੇਜ ਉੱਥੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਲਿਖੀ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਥੈਟ ਦੋ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਦੋ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਐਡਵਾਂਟੇजेस ਲਿਖੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਐਂਡ एंड दे विच कंक्लूजन दे विच शायद कंक्लूड कीता सी राइट हां जी हां जी ओके आई विल चेक इट लेटर ओके मतलब ये शुद्ध ओपिनियन ऐसे है बस इस चप मतलब ओपिनियन दे विच आप रिफ्यूट करते हैं यस राइट और ठीक है बट प्लीज यही चीज आ कि ओदाई थोड़ी मिस्टेक्स हैं अदरवाइज uh as is fine so bas thoda structure linkers use kar rahe ho thoda is jagah pe aap ruko synonyms use kar rahe ho baar baar chhe chhe repeat na ho bas a things da se pehle aise send karanga main tusi bhej dena best best aise jehde likhe honge ha bilkul bilkul main tumhe bhej dungi uh aise bahut badhiya badhiya likhe paye hue hai mere kol aaye hue hai so oh tusi read out karo and you will see the difference okay <laughs> it is very essential for children to begin learning a foreign language in their early ages children to begin ages nahi aayega age aayega children ho gaya na the plural ho gaya ta itthe bas theek hai theek hai as their mind is active in the childhood in childhood simply in childhood and they are quick learner they are quick learner in the primary school stage so simply like the in the primary stage okay in the primary stage okay. uh, yeah for in the beginning of their uh, school theek okay. hai because children are always fascinated fascinated, fascinated by learning new things on a new day okay it also builds their a bright future as children learn new skills at a very early stage okay that's fine hon dekho to si conclude kita theek hai jo upar apna jitna likha ne ohi apna conclusion de vich likhne honge ne बट uh, मैं यही कहूंगी इथे थोड़ा इलैबोरेट करया करो चीजों नु ओ चीज हम बार-बार रिपीट ना करया करो जमे कि आ लाइन तो थोड़ी डायरेक्टली रिपीट ही होगी जो इथे पढ़ के एटीएम में होगी सेम इथे पढ़ रही ठीक है बस इना चीज का ध्यान रखो टू बिगिन विद करके इथे जिथे तुसी एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो ओथे एक्सप्लेनेशन लिंक कर लाके सो दैट अपन नु पता लगे कि ए थोड़ी बिगिनिंग सी ए हुन तुसी एक्सप्लेन करन लगयो एंड एविडेंस इज अगेन मिसिंग एग्जांपल ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇਣੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਬਟ ਉਹ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਭੁੱਲ ਗਿਆ ਓਕੇ ਭੁੱਲਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਭੁੱਲਣਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਭੁੱਲ ਗਏ ਬਟ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਭੁੱਲਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਆਦਤ ਬਣੂਗੀ ਬਟ ਉੱਥੇ ਤਾਂ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਭੁੱਲਣਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖੋ ਟੌਪਿਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਤਿੰਨੋ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਮਸਟ ਨੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ओके ओके ये बस ओनली एक लिख देना सीगा कि रीसेंट सर्वे है कि जेड़े मतलब छोटे बच्चे हां बिल्कुल 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 हां वीओ मतलब उन्होंने बहुत जल्दी वो ऑब्जर्व कर देने आता है बस या एज कंपेयर टू कुछ लोगों को बात चुस खाया गया एज कंपेयर टू देम 
ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਧੀਆ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਲਿਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਅ ਦੈਟਸ ਇਟ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਐਸਏ